These Israelis, these pro-genocide supporters are getting so brave now. Have a look at a clip from mainstream United States television, more specifically CNN. Mehdi Hassan is on a panel discussing the Israel and Palestine issue. I never called you an okay. anti-Semite. I mean, I'm not sitting here saying I, mean, I don't. I'm, I'm a supporter of the Palestinians, so I'm used to it. Yeah, I, well, I hope your beeper doesn't go off. The thing is, is did that you just oh, say I should wow. die. You, you should not. No, I did said, you just say no. I should be killed? No, I did not say that. that. Said, no, I did not say that. Hold on, did you just say I should be killed? Hold on, live TV. The Zionist entity, as you guys know, they feel you know entitled, untouchable, God's chosen, satanic people. The Zionists. That's what they are. The whole world has seen them for their reality, and this confidence is going to cause them to have their great fall down. That's what's going to happen. So this arrogance and this racism you can see it doesn't stop it stops it doesn't stop anywhere you know on live tv Mehdi Hassan is actually being threatened by these Israeli Zionists let's hear for ourselves I never called you an okay. I, I mean I'm not sitting here saying I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm a supporter of the Palestinians so I'm used to it yeah so I, well I hope your beeper doesn't go off the thing is is did that you just oh, say I should wow. die you, you should not no I did said, you just say no. I should be killed no I did not say that hold on did you just say I should be killed hold on on live tv I said I hope you're let me let me just stop you said you hope my beeper doesn't go off of okay. the Palestinians, okay. Palestinian. Hamas. Guys, let me Palestinian. Palestinian. Are you? A Am I what? No, of course I'm not. Are you a racist, violent person inciting violence against me? Ryan, Ryan, that's disgusting. That is completely. Ryan, Ryan, that's Ryan. That's that is completely. Ryan, Ryan, that's that is completely Ryan, Ryan, that's completely out of pocket. Let's first say the Muslim guy should be blown up on TV. Don't say, don't say. Then I apologize. You literally. I thought you said Hamas. You didn't think I said Hamas. I said I supported Palestinian rights. Why? Because when you hear Palestinian. What's funny is Rudy Giuliani said this yesterday. So you're a great guest to be here to defend Rudy Giuliani. Give me one second. Today and so at this point. This is what we're in. Can't this is America this. in 2024. Here's what I will say. Forget Here's the racism. I, that's right. It's I should that's die. Right. I didn't that's, say that, that you should die. You said, what does beeper mean? Don't give me a fake I did not say you should guys, die. Why did you say with my beeper me, What did you mean? What did you mean by the beeper? So I said, mean? what did no, you mean by the beeper? No, 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 no you didn't. You said, I hope your beeper doesn't go off. Ryan, stop talking. At least have the guts to support your racist comment. I'm so sorry. I gotta bring it back. This is why... This is why yesterday's rally yeah. was disgusting. Don't call us Nazis, but I'm going to threaten the brown guy as a terrorist why. and kill him. Because I didn't ever say Donald Trump was Hitler. Man. But do you know who sat on a sta stood on a stage yesterday and said, I want to come to the Nazi rally? I don't have to make up words and call you something. You're saying it for yourself. And what you just said Kamala right Harris here, is a pimp apologize, pimp. but I will tell you, I don't accept that apology. And you didn't even That's say it to fine. me. That's fine. I didn't say That was you. disgusting. So this guy, I would argue, is reflective of the current sentiment that we hear about in Israel. Think I'm just making stuff up? Here is an Israeli citizen who said something even worse on Sky News. I just think we need to kill them, every one of them, and that's it. And if not that, because the, the country will not let that happen, the government. Just at least, the least we can do is just kick them out of our land. <laughs> I told you, she literally said, we should end every single one of them, referring to, of course, Palestinians. And here's a clip from Piers Morgan where you had the Mossad agent literally threatening the West. Have a listen. The Iranian nuclear program is going to be destroyed and anyone who gets in the way, even if they are politicians in the West, they are going to fall. Hold on, did you hear what he just said? He threatened politicians in the West that if they don't agree with Israel's war against Iran, that they're going to fall. No pushback whatsoever. You know what I mean? In fact, Piers Morgan loves to come in and show his unbiased nature when it comes to Palestine and Palestinians. But when it comes to Israeli agents, zip. No freedom of speech. No, I gotta be balanced here. I got no, 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 no. You do what your masters tell you to. Because Rupert Murdoch, of course, was on the list of potential funders of Benjamin Netanyahu. Yes, the, the famous list. Now, because Mehdi Hassan is high profile and he caught the guy out on television to such a degree that the anchor had to come in. Ryan, Ryan, that's disgusting. That is completely. No, I apologize. That Good job, is CNN. Let's have first block of say the Muslim guy should be that. blown no, up. I apologize. On TV. I apologize. Don't, I say, apologize. don't say then wow. I apologize. But following that exchange, Ryan Gadersky was booted off the show. And CNN's Abby Phillip issued an apology. I want to just address what happened in the last segment. First, 
I want to apologize to Mehdi Hassan for what was said at this table. It was completely unacceptable. When we get this discussion started, you'll see that Ryan is not at the table. There is a line that was crossed there, and it's not acceptable to me. It's not acceptable to us at this network. We want discussion. We want people who disagree with each other to talk to each other. But when you cross the line of a complete lack of civility, that is not going to happen here on this show. So this guy won't be in the panel discussion next week. I think that's about it. He apologized. But when it comes to Muslims and when Muslims say stuff like this, we apologize. It's simply not enough. Get down on your knees. Yeah. Put your head on the ground. Read this script out. That's right. Yeah. That's the only thing that works for you lot. But when it comes to these guys, he's apologized. Yeah. So that should, that, that should be okay. But it's not the only time this has happened. I've given you three high profile cases. If you look at the statistics, majority of the Israelis are in favor of displacing the Palestinians and the statistics go on as to the violence required to do so. So it's not just a handful of people. No, this is and should be called out. I mean you cannot make this stuff up. Yeah, like, and it, they are claiming to be God's chosen people and Allah, God Almighty is showing us with their own mouths on video footage with their own hands the atrocities that they are committing and for 20 years the year the the war on terror was what that we muslims have these beliefs you know we want to kill infidels where we find them it was us we were the, apparently the ones where our religion apparently t tells and there is not a single text close to the old testament to tell you directly which is called quote of benjamin Netanyahu about amalek or amalek doesn't do direct commandments of killing men women children donkeys babies Babies, yes? Nothing like that in Islam, but we were the apparent ones. The Western world is waking up. Everybody is waking up. Their time is up. Zionist lies, their propaganda, funding the Islamophobia industry. It's all up. You know why? Because they are now so confident. These God's chosen satanic people are now so confident that they are outright on CNN can tell a journalist, like Mehdi Hassan, that hope your beeper doesn't go off with confidence. You know why? Because they think they're untouchable. This is why it's going to be their demise. Their confidence is going to be their demise. When your enemy is making a fool of themselves, you just let them talk, you know? And in this case, if your enemy is perpetrating acts of violence and genocide, you let them talk. And all you do is just screen record like us, do a reaction video and show it to the globe and the entire world.